Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a spirit message for Sign of Taurus, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you can do is we have memberships on the channel, so you go ahead and join, become a member, get access to all those perks. Okay, so let's see. On the bottom of the deck, for the overall energy for your current situation, we have the Three of Cups reverse. Taurus, what is making you unhappy here? Something is not satisfying you in your life. Could be a person, a multitude of different things, because it's going to be different for all of you on exactly what that is. But we have the High Priestess, that is Pisces energy. We have the Lovers, that's Gemini energy. We have the Sun card, Leo energy, the Knight of Cups, Reverse, and then we have the Five of Pentacles. Taurus, I see you releasing that, which makes you unhappy, which makes you feel unhappy, basically. Like you letting go of that, you moving away from it, and I see you moving towards your goals, your dreams, other things that make you happy, other people that make you happy, places that make you happy. Okay, so let's see. On the bottom of the deck of what's coming towards you, we have the King of Swords. King of Swords, that is air energy, so I don't know if you have air in your chart or that's someone coming towards you. Towards the, the energy I get from you is I don't really see you letting anybody bother you anymore. It feels like you're moving away from things that make you unhappy, as I said. And it feels like you're 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 kind of like focusing on you. What makes you happy? You're not letting other people disturb you or other things disturb you. Okay, so let's see. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant, that is Taurus energy, your own energy, and the Four of Swords, yes. A lot of you, you're, you're moving away, as I've been saying, Moving away from things that don't make you feel good, things that make you unhappy. You're going in this energy of like resting, retreating, focusing on you, what you want to do. And I also see you, while you're doing this, moving towards your own spirituality, your religion, and all that. So you're still staying connected even though you're moving away from a lot of things. A lot of different people, a lot of different like places, situations. Let's see. Messages for you, Taurus. We have see yourself as you would see a friend. Be objective about it. Okay. Number 26, the beautiful place. Taurus, what this talks about is you have a dream here. Obviously, you have a goal. Something you want to do. And... You will achieve that goal, but that's something you have to take the step towards. Like that, that's something you take action towards, okay? We have number 11, nurture. Yeah, you're going to be nurturing yourself a lot more. Number 37, the past. Letting go of the past. Things of the past. Moving forward, we have number 33, sacred orchard. Co-create. My abundance mindset attracts endless blessings. So Taurus, you being in this abundant mindset, I, I can't speak, anyways, you know what I'm trying to say, you're going to attract a lot of positivity by having that positive mind, uh, mind frame, there we go, <laughs> what's wrong with me today, we have number 10 with storm warning, you do have a, you do have an issue coming your way, you have something that is going to impact you, it's a bit of an obstacle, but I think you can pull through it, you have closure, yes, a lot of you are getting closure, from past issues, things that happened probably a while back. Could be a years, months. Last card for you, you have number 33. Notice all the threes in these numbers. Ten Sisters of Light. Let's have a look at that card.
You are an advanced soul and have lived many incarnations, shown your light through your many, many different faces. Your soul has learned many skills in past lives, developed abilities and talents. This lifetime is a culminating lifetime in the sense that your soul is drawing together potencies developed over many lifetimes into unified expression. It is like drawing on the power of the ten sisters or more into your current one lifetime. Be prepared to grow and shine, beloved. Ooh, look at you. Taurus, you have lived many lifetimes. Like, a bunch. And, it, and in this lifetime, this current one, you're going to continue to grow and shine. Grow. A lot of growth for you. Okay? So, Taurus, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.